Hello everyone, welcome to our Joe special techno channel. Last session we learned you how to install Joe server by two most commonly methods in Windows. In this session we would like to talk around the about and status section of Joe server. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. Joe server has a browser based web administration interface application used to configure all aspects of Joe server from adding and publishing data to changing service settings. The web admin interface is accessed via a web browser at host column port slash Joe server. For the default installation on the server, the link is localhost colon 8080 slash Joe server. When the application starts, it displays the welcome page. In order to change any server settings or configure data, a user must first be authenticated. Navigate to the upper right of the web interface to log into Joe server. The default administration credentials are Username is admin and password is Joe server. Once logged in, the welcome screen changes to show the available admin functions. As you can see in the monitor, there are three main areas in the Joe server web interface. The central area is where information is shown. Elements inside it change according to the operation you are performing. Just after you log on, it shows you a briefing of configured data and warning or errors that you should correct. On the right hand side, there is a list showing usual server capabilities. The listed acronyms refer to standard OGC protocols. We will talk about some of them in details, and each of them has at least one release supported. Those numbers are links to the XML documents that exactly describe which data and operation each protocol supports. They are very valuable resources for clients willing to use your services. On the left hand side, there is a table of content listing to configuration areas. Each area contains links to administrative operations. When you click on one of them, the central area shows you conceptual options. We will explore the about and status section in the next paragraphs and other sections in the next sessions. About and status. This area gives you information about runtime variable and how Joe server is described to clients that connect to it. In other words, this section provides access to Joe server diagnostic and configuration tools and can be particularly useful for debugging. The status page shows a summary of server configuration parameters and runtime status. The Joe Server Logs page shows the Joe Server Log output. This is useful for determining errors without having to leave the browser. The Contact Information page sets the public contact information available in the Capabilities document of the WMS server. The About Server section provides links to the Joe Server documentation, homepage, and back tracker. You don't need to be logged into Joe Server to access this page. Click on the server status, please. Server status. The server status gives you a summarized overview of the main configuration parameters and information about the current status of the Joe server. It has three tabs. The status tab provides a summary of server configuration parameters and runtime status. The modules tab provides the status of the various modules installed on the server. And the system status tab that provides extra information about the system environment Joe server is running in. Status field descriptions. This page describes the current status indicators. Data directory. It shows the path to the Joe server data directory that you can watch in the screen. Changing the data directory. The procedure for setting the location of the Joe server data directory is dependent on the type of Joe server installation. When running a Joe server where inside the servlet container, the data directory can be specified in a number of ways. The recommended method is to set a servlet context parameter. To specify the data directory using a servlet context parameter, create the context from elements in the webinf slash web.xml file for the Joe server application. After you change the path of the data directory, log into Joe server again. Then click on the server status. Now you can see the new path of data directory. Now we will back to default settings.
likes. By using Transactional Web Feature Service or WFST, a client may edit the configured feature types. To avoid data corruption, Joe server likes the data on which a transaction is required until it ends. If the number shown is greater than 1, then there are some transactions going on with your data. The free likes button lets you reset a home editing session, removing any orphan process to free likes that might have been abandoned. Connections This shows you the number of vector data stores connections. Vector data stores are repositories configured for persistence of features. Memory usage This shows you how much memory your server is using. You can manually run the garbage collector by clicking the Ferry Memory button, so it cleans up memory marks for deletion. JVM version This is the version of Java Virtual Machine that the Joe server is using. Here the JVM is Oracle Corporation. Java Rendering Engine It shows the rendering engine used for vector operations. Available fonts This is a list of the fonts seen by the Joe server. Fonts are useful to render labels for special features. You will also see the number of fonts available. Selecting the link will show the full list. To add in custom fonts to the Joe server, at first you have to download your favorite fonts from the web. Then copy it to the Java installation folder JRE Live Fonts. After resetting the Apache Tomcat software, the new fonts will be added to the available fonts list. Another method is that you can copy the desired fonts to the Windows installation path at C Windows Fonts. Then restart the Apache Tomcat software. Now the custom fonts will be added to the available fonts. After doing this, we can access 584 different fonts. Click the list of available fonts and search the new fonts. Native JAI As we said in the previous session, the Java Advanced Imaging or JAI is an advanced image manipulation library. If your server has low memory and you use 32-bit version of Java, you can install this extension and increase the performance of image rendering and coverage manipulation. So this extension reduces the need to add memory to the server. When probably installed, it displays true and JI makes WCS and WMS performance faster and more efficient. Native JI Image I.O. Joe server uses JI Image I.O framework for raster data loading and image encoding. When properly installed, JI Image I.O. makes WCS and WMS performance faster and more efficient. JI Maximum Memory expresses in bytes the amount of memory available for the tile cache, in this case 455 megabytes. JI Memory Usage Runtime amount of memory is used for the tile cache. Clicking on the Free Memory button clears available JI memory by running the tile cache flashing. JI Memory Threshold it refers to the percentage, for example 75, of cache memory to retain during tile removal. Number of JI tile threads The number of parallel threads used by the scheduler or handle tiles. JI tile threads priority It schedules the global tile scheduler priority. The priority value default to 5 and must fall between 1 and 10. For more information to know how to install JI, please visit the following link. In programming, to improve the speed and performance of the program, each of the various tasks and parts of the application can be assigned to a thread. The thread pool template helps conserve resources in multi-thread application and also places parallel computations in a specific predefined framework. When using the thread pool, you can perform concurrent tasks in parallel form. Thread pool executor core pool size 
Number of threads that the thread pool executor will create. This is underlying Java runtime functionality. Thread pool executor max pool size. Maximum number of threads that the thread pool executor will create. This is underlying Java runtime functionality. Thread pool executor keep lifetime. Time out for threads to be terminated if they are idle and more than the core pool number exists. This is underlying Java runtime functionality. Update sequence. This option shows you how many times the server configuration has been updated. Resource cache. Jill server does not cache data, but it does cache connections to store feature types definition, external graphics, font definition, and CRS definitions as well. The clear button forces those caches empty and makes your server reopen the stores and re read image and font information as well as the custom series definitions stored in Joe server underline data dir slash user underline projections slash epsg dot properties. Configuration and catalog. This option is very useful to update the configuration without having to restart the service. Joe server keeps configuration data in memory. If for any reason that configuration information has become stale, for example, an external utility has modified the configuration on disk, you can force your server to reload data from the disk. Module field descriptions. In your server, a module can fall into one of three classes. Core. Those modules that are visible by default in the modules tab, which your server requires to function and are distributed with the main your server distribution. Extension. Those modules that add functionality to your server, they are installed as add-ons to the base your server installation. After you download and install these extensions, they add to the your server modules list, for example, WPS extension. Community. Those modules that generally considered experimental in nature and are often under development. For that reason, unlike the official extensions, these modules are not released and are stored on SourceForge when an official Joe server release is produced. Every module added to the Joe server has its origin as a community module. If the module becomes stable enough, it will eventually become part of the main Joe server distribution either as a core module or as an extension. As you can see in the screen, the modules tab provides a summary of the status of all installed modules in the running server. Module name. The human readable name of the modules. This links to a pop-up containing the full details and message of the module. Module ID. The internal package name of the module. Available. Whether the module is available to Joe server. Enabled. Whether the module is enabled in the current Joe server configuration. Component. The optional component identifier within the module. Version. The optional version of the installed module. Message or pop-up. The optional status message such as what Java rendering engine is in use or the library pass if the module slash driver is unavailable. System status field descriptions. System status adds some extra information about the system in the Joe server status page in a tab named system status and make that info queryable through Joe server REST interface. This info should allow an administrator to get a quick understanding about the status of the Joe server instance. If the system status tab is not present, it means that the plugin was not installed correctly. The system status tab content will be refreshed automatically every second. Jo server likes. The Jo server likes section lets you to read the messages, warnings, and errors contained in the like file. According to the current lagging settings, you can find more information about the request clients sent to Jo server and how it processes them. You can see it in this section. You can only read the last 1000 lines by default from the console. You can also change this setting, but if you really need to access the entire lab content, we would strongly suggest accessing it with a text editor. You can use the download the full lag file link placed just under the text console, or access the lag file directory from this path. Joseaver underline data dir slash logs slash joseaver dot like. Contact information. The contact information is used in the capabilities document of the WMS server and is publicly accessible. Joe server provides an item to describe this information and metadata in different languages. By default, it's disabled and can be enabled from the I18N checkbox. You can complete this form with the relevant information and press the save button to save your information. About Joe server. 
This section provides a brief description about Joe server and build information such as Joe server version, Git revision, build date, Joe tool version, and Joe web cache version. Also, this section provides links to the Joe server documentation, wiki, and issue tracker. Remember that you don't need to be logged into Joe server to access this page. In this session, we talked around the about and status section of Joe server. It's our pleasure that you enjoyed today's video. If you like our contents of tutorials, please like it and join us. Also, if you would like to know more information about the concepts of Joe's special services and how to install Joe's server, we recommend you to watch the suggested videos. Have a great time!